of GTA 5 and uh, as, I was, as I was itching to play it um, I hope that you guys uh, would be itching to watch it as well the thing is we completed the set of uh, uh, missions we have to do with Michael or as Michael and now we have to do Franklin's missions well actually um, Michael's missions are not totally complete but uh, we do have to do some more is a glitch oh no Niggas was online. That nigga was online all the time. He was just shocked. Anyways, we have to go to meet Lester. And um, in these missions, we are going to start some assassinations. And um, yeah, uh, we'll be playing as a hitman. So the thing is, these missions, the set of missions uh, which are upcoming, uh, which, we, which the ones which we have to do with uh, Franklin and Lester, are majority of them are, are the assassination missions and uh, they're quite um what should i say um quite old-fashioned type of missions i mean just hit and run so we'll be doing that kind of stuff which is quite fun to be honest and um who doesn't love guns i mean we boys will we love guns shooting and stuff bikes gangs and stuff like that um those are, those are just badass stuff or just which make men men's anyways uh so we are on our way to meet that as before and um the driving sync skills have been improved so far in this game um hey if anybody's uh hearing mm, some uh bad voice i mean um if my voice is not being recorded properly, I'm sorry for that. I think I had some issues with my recording software. Um, I'll fix it later in the upcoming videos. So yeah, just uh, bear with this. Bear with it for just um, for this video. Ha! Ha! <laughs> he said, he said, look after fools like me. Damn it! Okay, I just exaggerated that. Anyways, where is he? Oh, okay, I'll chat him now and um, enjoy. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit, y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I source worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserve to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at this shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planning lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds. It's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. And he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using Mollus, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs, you know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. Oh shit! Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Sir, leave the area now! This is for authorized personnel only! Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry.
Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, shit. Let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and you know, property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. And we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking, that probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours, enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive.